This is not a joke. How did you feel when you saw that? Well, my first reaction was obviously not a great one. Um, basically, the words of <laughs> Obviously, I was disappointed. I was thinking, well, what am I going to do with this? It obviously wasn't the tattoo what I'd first set out for. Well, you could have another child and call it Gary. <laughs> <laughs> there is that, yes. Unless it's a girl, then... If it's a girl, you'd have to call it Gary too. Yeah. <laughs> Point is, he must have been furious, correct? Yes, I was, yeah. There's also a lot of pain, and there are certain things that are a joke. Yeah. And here's the thing, Christian, I've just remembered Gary. And I had Gary in my court before. And on that occasion, I gave the person who was suing him aggravated damages, which I very, very rarely do. Because what happened was a young man was a victim of one of his pranks, which he thought was hilarious. And I thought it was so unhilarious that I ended up giving the applicant more money than he'd come to my court to claim for. Mm -hmm. That's not funny. No. Do you think that's funny? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have a statement, you know, from your mum, Alison. When my son returned from holiday, I was horrified to see that tattoo. I asked him what he had done and he told me it wasn't his fault. It was a prank by his inverted commas, friend Gary. Christian was so upset by this, it's not a joke. It's gone too far. My son has this on his body forever, so I don't think it's funny at all. I gave birth to my son with perfect skin. It's been ruined by this horrible tattoo. Never a more perfect comment from a mum, in my view. Absolutely right. What did you do? Did you tell the tattoo artist to change it to your name? I just wrote it down and I said he, he wants that now. Do you really think that that was a reasonable thing to do? Now it's obviously a bit more serious, but I mean, like, at the, at the time, I thought he was going to look at the tattoo before it got the, the carbon copy, which... I, I've just... got loads of tattoos, and every time I've looked at my tattoos before they've got... But he was drunk, and you were in care of him, correct? Yeah. Diligently, each month, he was coming to your home or finding out where you live and dropping round as much as he conceivably could, correct? No, sir. No? If you can't be there, sir, I presume, knowing how expensive these two extraordinary young people are to bring up, you did your best, cash in hand, to make sure they had something. If you can't be there physically, at least you do your best to pay. Where was it? I have transferred to my son's account on a few occasions. Uh, for a few occasions? On a few occasions. Goodness I have, me! I have what would you like for that, sir? Nothing. Thank you. I have posted as well, money as well. Through the post, it must have gone lost. Must have got lost in the post. Must have. Just pause. <laughs> got lost in the post. Dog eat your homework, Mohammed. <laughs> now, eventually, there was a retrospective assessment of exactly how much CSA was owing. And I have to tell you, I'm troubled by it because I don't think it's anywhere near enough. But can I see it, please? That's just one sheet. There's Mohammed, one whilst it's being presented to me, the relevant authority like conducts an assessment pound. of how she much you owe in back payments. Do you have any idea of how much this is at this stage, as of today's date? No, Judge. An insulting amount. I'd just like to read something, just something, to you, Mohammed. Man of the world, cash in hand, that sort of thing, correct? Go ahead. Part A of this letter explained that the total amount of regular child maintenance you should receive each week, this is to you, from Mohammed, is £1.75. That's what it started. Just pause for a second. Joke. Just pause, please. Sorry. Do you know what you owe as of today's date, sir? No, I don't. £5,596, sir. Why haven't you paid any of it? I have, pay I have made payments in the past before. In that previous text, you described her as beautiful, correct? It said, how are you as well beautiful? It wasn't as in, I thought she was beautiful. It was just a... I don't know how to explain it, George. Oh, good. Well, if you don't know how to explain it, it means it doesn't make sense. You must have been referring to her beauty. Correct? If I went to Specsavers first, yes, George. <gasps> how dare you? Put that down. How dare you? I'm speaking my mind, George. I'm you not do going not, to lie. You be quiet.
Sophie. Yes. Part of this case, as we move on here, is going to be whether or not that person over there is a mature young man or whether you made a poor decision. And there'll be various views about that. My view will be correct. What you will not do is walk away from my court taking anything that he says as anything disparaging towards you. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. Because his opinion matters for nothing. You are a perfectly beautiful young person. Thank you. And you understand, external beauty fades, but stupid and unkind sometimes is forever. Sometimes with difficult clients, you just walk away. And that would have been the end of the matter. However, this is the first case that I have ever dealt with of such clear, evident, and in my judgment, wicked blackmail. What you did, sir, was completely and utterly unfair, unjust, unreasonable, and more importantly, wholly malicious. You are not, as a matter of law or principle, entitled to go about town putting up posters. I did not. Talking! Whether you believed he was dishonest or not is a matter for you. There are various ways that you could have expressed that. But you have placed at least three or four statements on this poster, including an unflattering photograph, which were not objectively true. Your claim is for malicious falsehood for £3,500. And I'll be clear, it's one of the worst cases of it I've ever seen. Consequently, I have no difficulty in giving you that full award. This court awards you £3,500. Understood? I do. <clears throat> you cannot do that. Outrageous. Don't be stupid. Stay and watch the best judge render moments. And I'm talking. Understood? Don't be a moron. Subscribe to Judge Rinder YouTube channel right now. That's an order.